In section 4.4, we're going to talk a little bit about some precautions that you should take when you actually are using the regression line and linear regression on, on it. And, okay, first thing is, if you don't see a line when you first look at the data, don't try to find one. Okay, if it's not linear, don't attempt to find or interpret the correlation or find the equation of the least squares line. Okay, so here's an example of a, data, a set of data that is not linear, so we should not do linear regression on this data set. Okay. The other thing is beware of outliers. If you have one outlier, it can make a big difference in what the, either the correlation is or what the equation looks like. So um, a lot of times what you do is you look at both with the outlier and without the outlier. So you're going to do your correlation and you find your regression line both ways, with and without the outlier. And I'll show you in a second, we can actually move a point around and see how the line changes just by moving one point. Okay, so here's an example where you have this influential point. Okay, this is the popul population density of all the states, including Washington, D.C., and the crime rate per 100,000 people in the U.S. Okay, so you notice that Washington, D.C. is a very dense, as in there's a lot of people that live there for the size that it is. Okay, so it comes way out here when you look at the population density. Okay, so this is definitely a outlier or a, an influential point. And look at the correlation. The correlation is actually 0.412. If you remove it, now you don't see much of any linear relationship here between the points. Look how much it changed your correlation. And now it's at negative 0.145. So one, this one point made that much of a difference in just the value of the correlation. So sometimes you might have a fairly high correlation, but it might just all be for one point. I'm, by the way, I'm not saying that this 0.412 is a high correlation. I'm just saying you could have a graph with a high correlation, but it might just be because one point is making it that high. Okay. Next thing is what we call extrapolation. If you're going to try to predict a value, you should try to put the value in for your horizontal variable that's close to the ages you actually have. Okay, so make sure it makes sense. Okay, so here's the predicted height for a 50-year-old. Okay, and you say, oh, this person would be 154.28 inches or over 12 feet tall. Okay, so if you think about how people grow, they actually grow maybe even somewhat linear from the time they're born until maybe when they reach 16, 17, 18. But after that, they stop growing in height. So at that point, we can't use our linear model anymore. So you should make sure that you're only using it to predict values that are within the values that you're given to start with for your x-axis. Okay, so let's go over here to StatCrunch. Okay, I actually have this Monopoly data pulled up, so if you actually want to find it, you could go to Data, Load, and you can do Shared Data Sets. And again, if you just type in my name in here, Burns Beth, click Go. Okay, you'll see this set called Monopoly BGSU. Okay, so open it. And we're going to use an applet over here called Regression, and we're just going to do Regression by I. Okay, I'm going to do from the data table. So if you know a little bit about Monopoly, as you move across the board, the price of the properties increase. So if I look at the position it is on the board, so Mediterranean Avenue is in the first position and Boardwalk's in the 39th position. Okay. My um, Y variable is going to be the price, so this is how much it would cost you to actually buy that property. And then press Compute, and we actually are only just going to worry about using the regression line. Okay. And if you notice, it actually looks like a very linear um, data set, so it would be okay to do regression with this. And I'm guessing my correlation is probably well into like 0.95 or above even. We could actually calculate it. But for here, I just want to show you what happens when you move a point around. Okay, so let's just take boardwalk here, and you notice if I start dragging it, your regression line starts moving, okay? So if I put it like way over here, see how just moving that one point is changing where the regression line is, okay? So that's part of making sure that if you have an outlier, it might not fit the rest of the data. You shouldn't do regression with it. So if it's way down here, you think you should still put your line around across through the rest of the points and just kind of ignore that. Okay. 
you also should watch because I let me add a point but I want to add it outside the range that's there. Let's say the very first property cost a lot of money, like fifteen hundred dollars to buy. Okay. Now look what happens. Just by adding this one point, it actually changed it so the correlation would actually be very close to zero, but it actually would be negative because your correlation and slope will have the exact same sign, as in if the slope is negative, the correlation is negative. If the slope is positive, the correlation will be positive. So just by adding that one point in that ends up being way out, away from everything else, I end up with drastically changing both my correlation and my regression line. So just kind of watch out for outliers or other unusual values that might make a big effect on your, on your regression when you do it.